You know, believe it or not, there's a reason that I uh, don't really watch these Netflix movies that just have a, a big name celebrity headlining it ever since Bird Box. And uh, so I'm, so I'm, so I'm finally get into the reason that that might be. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it, do it better than anybody you ever seen do it. Scream. Project Power. I really hope I found some way to use Kanye West's power for that uh, montage without getting copyright claimed because uh, it's the, one of the only reasons that I decided to review this movie. But uh, let's actually talk about this movie because I want to be past this part of my life. So essentially the premise is there's this new pill, this new drug out on the street called Power. If you take it, you get a superpower for the next five minutes that is based on the traits of an animal. Either that or you explode. You, you could just straight up die. Now, the, the fact that the powers are limited to being traits that are from animals is interesting because it's like, okay, so there's going to be rules regarding this magic system. Characters aren't going to be teleporting. They're not going to be casting spells. They're not going to be rewriting reality or anything like that. These powers are going to be grounded, simple, and consistent. <laughs> or so I thought. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so Joseph Gordon-Levitt plays this, like, gruff dad type of detective who's trying to take down power, get to the source of the drug and eliminate it, clean up the city of New Orleans, right? And Jamie Foxx plays a character who's trying to do much of the same, but for a much different reason that I won't get into entirely too much here in the review, in case you do want to go watch this movie. I really don't watch Netflix movies that much, but if you want me to, I will continue to watch and review some of the ones that already exist. But good God, give me strength to do so. Also, can we stop trying to make MGK a thing? The There's already a trailer on Twitter that's, that tells you about this, but when he takes the pill, he bursts into flames. He, he basically becomes a human torch. I don't know if that is... An ability that an animal out there has, I'm pretty sure it's a very exaggerated version of one if that thing were to exist. Because the examples that you get are like, oh, you can blend in with your environment like a chameleon, or your skin becomes as hard as the as an armadillo shell, or something like that. But then, like, this one person becomes Elsa, and then one character, like, has the ability to heal other people, and I'm just like... What animal is this? What animal is that supposed to be? The Sub-Zero spider? The Jesus duck? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Jesus duck. Back to MGK, though. As you can tell from the trailer that where he fights Jamie Foxx, he goes up in flames, much like his rap career after he tried to diss Eminem. And I'm just like... Uh, I, thought this, I thought there were rules. But I guess I was mistaken. I guess you can just... Mmm, the prep, I'm tired of, anyway, one thing that was never made clear, or not even necessarily outright explained, but there's never anything that helps me figure this out one way or the other, everybody that takes the pill, unless they die, they seem to get powers, or they seem to get the exact same power multiple times, so there's something that I don't understand, because as I said earlier, MGK's character can like burst into flames, but when you see him after the pill has already been introduced, he has like burn scars, so I don't know if the characters are immune to their own powers, or maybe he was still on fire when his five minutes ran out and so he got burned, but that wouldn't really make any sense unless he was like in a room that was on fire or something like that, but what I don't understand is, how does it work? Is it each pill is coded to a certain animal's genes? your body can only receive traits from a certain type of animal, so there's like a genetic match type of thing, and that's why some people explode when they take the pill? Or is it like... They... I... There was there was one third thing that I, that I thought it might have been. Let me, let me think of this. Oh yeah, I remember now. Is it that like, after you take your first power pill, whatever ability you get, is that just all you can get? Because there's points in the movie where somebody will take multiple pills at a time and I thought they were just going to get a bunch of different powers but they just seemed to get like a Kaioken boost on the power that they already had so I'm like how exactly does that work but it turns out to be this whole conspiracy where it's like oh we're trying to create an army of super soldiers type beat I 
I don't know. The the plot is really generic, and outside of Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon Levitt throwing their backs out carrying this movie, there's pretty much nothing memorable about it. Casey Neistat's in it. I don't really know why. He I'm not gonna lie, it's just a really basic, simple movie that should have been very easy to keep on track, but it got derailed almost immediately. And the entire time I'm just like I'm just kind of like it's easy to forget that these characters actually have goals because like they, there's a lot of downtime in the movie and it makes it seem like the movie takes place in like over the course of like one really long night like Batman Arkham or something like that but there's so much downtime that it seems like the situation and the task at hand is not time sensitive but it's very clearly time sensitive but it's like it's also like well why are these things happening at the exact time that they are because if this hadn't happened to Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, then this part of Jamie Foxx's story couldn't have taken place. And I don't like coincidence in my stories, especially when coincidence is the thing that pushes the story along. I feel like because it just so happened to take place around the same time is really weak. There's no, there's no consistent driving force behind the character's motivations, behind their actions. And overall, in the entire story, there's nothing that the movie does not justify its own existence you know what I mean like there's no there's nothing that I gained from watching the movie that I feel like I needed like I I don't feel like my quality of life has been improved by watching Project Power it's not inspiring me as a filmmaker I just whatever anyway Project Power is kind of bad kind of lame uh, if you've seen it what do you think about it whatever it is educate me I'll see you soon, I guess.